Winston Marshall, the banjo player for supergroup Mumford & Sons, has quit the band. And I blame the mob. Welcome back to Bible Bears, everyone. I'm Ryder Cullison. Okay, now for the joke of the day, before we get into this story. Two men are hunting in the woods. One man collapses. He falls down. He's not breathing. His eyes are glazed over. The other man pulls out his phone calls emergency services and says, help, my, my friend has collapsed, he's dead, whatever can I do? The operator said, calm down, I think I can help. First, let's make sure he's dead. There's silence on the phone. Then you hear, Pshh. man gets back on the phone and says, okay, now what? All right, before we get into this story, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you will be alerted when I post new videos. Okay, I'm a big fan of Mumford & Sons out of, out of the UK, Little Lion Man, The Cave, a lot of good stuff. Their banjo player has left the band. Why has he left the band? Well, because back in March, he tweeted out to Andy No. Andy No is a writer and an activist. Andy No is best known for kind of infiltrating Antifa. Antifa, the so-called anti-fascist organization that is a far-left group that you may have seen in Seattle and other parts of California rioting for three straight months, okay? So Andy No wrote a book basically about uh, unmasking Antifa and Andy No got beaten up at least once uh, by a mob of people I think with bike locks or something like that anyway so Winston Marshall the banjo player from Mumford and Sons said hey basically he tweeted out and said hey Andy I just read your book this is an important book you are a brave man that's it and the torches ignited and the pitchforks twinkled in the night and they came for Winston Marshall. So much so that his bandmates worried about, I guess, the image of the band and how it was going to affect their families and stuff. And so Winston Marshall stepped back from social media for a little while. And now, as of this past week, in June, he has decided to leave the band because he initially came out and then apologized. He said, hey, look, uh, just because I was supporting Andy No does not mean I'm in favor of far-right extremism because just by complimenting Andy No, someone who was revealing the, the darker side of far-left extremism, that must mean Winston Marshall supports far-right extremism. And if you support Andy No, who was revealing the darker side of Antifa, and Antifa doesn't like Trump, then by supporting Andy No, that must mean you like Trump, and everybody knows orange man bad. Therefore, Winston Marshall needed to be piled on. He said the abuse had reached a whole other level, okay? Now, he's, steppy, he's, he's leaving a band with, uh, with a happy heart. He said it was one of the greatest experiences of his life. He wishes his bandmates nothing but the best, but he feels that he needs to be able to, to speak his mind, all right? Essentially, what he has said is, not being able to speak his mind, not stand up for his beliefs, is like eroding his soul and his integrity. Now, he quotes Alexander Solzhenitsyn from one of Solzhenitsyn's essays. If you don't know who Alexander Solzhenitsyn is, he is, uh, he was, he passed away in 2008. He was a Soviet dissident. He was put into a labor camp for criticizing Stalin. Uh, throughout his career, he wrote many books and essays criticizing uh, communism. Uh, one of his famous works is the Gulag Archipelago. Solzhenitsyn 
did not like communism. He did not like what was going on in the Soviet Union. He was also put into exile for a number of years uh, before he could finally return to Russia. I think it was in 1990. Anyway, Winston Marshall quotes Solzhenitsyn. Solzhenitsyn writes, And he who is not sufficiently courageous to defend his soul, don't let him be proud of his progressive views. Don't let him boast that he is an academic, or a people's artist, a distinguished figure, or a general. Let him say to himself, I'm part of the herd and a coward. It's the same to me as long as I'm fed and kept warm. Basically, Solzhenitsyn is saying anybody who defends these progressive ideas by saying, Oh, I'm, a, I'm an academic. I'm a PhD. I'm a general. I'm a politician. Let him just say to himself, rather, that he's just a coward and he's just moving along with the herd just so nobody criticizes him. And that's what we see in today's society with this flow of progressive ideas. If you say anything about it, you may get canceled. So you might as well just jump in the river and flow along with them just so you can remain sheltered from all the criticism. It's all the same to me as long as no one calls me a racist or a homophobe or some other term designed to shut me up right quick by falsely labeling me as some sort of bigot. And that's what's happening in society now. Winston Marshall gets piled on for just calling somebody brave, and then he gets piled on for apologizing for it. And frankly, I don't think he needed to apologize for it. Sometimes you need to speak your mind, and if it offends somebody, well, then it offends somebody. What he did should not have offended anybody. If you're on the right, you should be able to praise somebody on the left for taking a stand, uh, even if it's something that perhaps you don't agree with. You don't need to to jump on them just because they support somebody on the left and vice versa. If you're on the left, you don't need to jump on somebody just because they support somebody on the right. Okay? Get over it. This is the great part of our country. We can be free to share our thoughts and ideas. But right now, what you're saying is you're free to share your thoughts and ideas as long as they coincide and agree with my thoughts and ideas. If they don't, then just shut up. Guys, what do you think? Are you happy that Winston Marshall has made this, this decision? Uh, in a way, I think this is a brave thing to leave the band behind, to leave the fame behind, just to speak his mind. But maybe you think he should be able to stay with the band and his bandmates should just be able to defend him. Okay? I haven't seen anything extreme come from him yet. Maybe that's coming down the line. But... Maybe his bandmate should just step up to the plate and say, he's our pal, he's a great banjo player, he's part of the band, he's what helped us make Mumford & Sons, so if he has a few, if he has opinions that you don't agree with, get over it. Maybe you don't believe in that. Put, put that in your comments below. Also, if you have any joke of the days that you want me to share, I'll, I'll shout them out and give you total credit for it. I love to hear your jokes. Guys, as always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the share button if you like this video. And I love you. And that's right. Have a blessed week.